Education Society Redefining Excellence Hello students, I am Dr. Mahadev Mundai going to deliver a video lecture on Basic Electrical Engineering In our last video lecture, we have learned the AC series circuit Now in this video lecture, we are going to learn the parallel AC circuit which involves the impedances and the admittances, admittance tangle and the uh, impedance tangle, their comparison, etc. So let us have the two impedances. Normally see the in electrical engineering impedance is denoted by the this symbol rectangular box, say so this is Z1 and another is this is say Z2. These two impedances, let us connect them in parallel. So this is the supply voltage field. Then current flowing, so the total current is I. Current flowing through this is I1. Current flowing through the Z2 is I2. See Z1, Z2, they may be either inductive or a capacitor, no matter. And this is the again current I. So in this here, the Total current I equal to I1 plus I2. So this is obviously phasor sum. So what is I1? I1 I equal to phi upon Z, where Z is the equivalent impedance. I1 equal to phi upon Z1. In parallel circuit, voltage across each branch remains same. And therefore, plus phi upon Z2. So phi is common and therefore 1 upon Z equal to 1 upon Z1 plus 1 upon Z2. Now, in general, if there are n number of impedances connected in parallel, their equivalent will be 1 upon Z equivalent equal to 1 upon Z1 plus 1 upon Z2 plus dash 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 1 upon Zn minus 1 plus 1 upon Zn. Now, this can be written as Z equal to Z1 Z2 upon Z1 plus Z2. This is the equivalent impedance uh, equivalent impedance of the two impedances connected in parallel now from this equivalent impedance also we can find out the current i equal to phi upon z i equal to phi upon z now say uh, if the total current is given to us, if the total current is given to us, how to find the current division or the division of current in parallel circuit? <laughs> Say, total current I is given to us. Given, then I1 equal to I1 equal to total current multiplied by other impedance, other branch impedance that is Z2 upon some of these two impedances. So this is I1 and similarly I2 equal to total current. See I2 when when finding the I2. We have to consider total current multiplied by other impedance that is Z1 divided by Z1 plus Z2. So in this way the division of current takes place. Now say the what is what is the admittance? Admittance is denoted by Y. It is the reciprocal reciprocal of impedance. It is the reciprocal of impedance and denoted by Y. Its unit is Siemens. Siemens denoted by S. Or sometimes spelled as a mole, energy. So the 
this say y1 equal to 1 upon 10 similarly y2 equal to 1 upon 10 and therefore if you replace here so 1 upon z 1 upon z is nothing but y see using equation see, using equation 2 So y equal to y1 plus y2. So in parallel circuit, admittances get added. In parallel circuit, admittances get added. Now the y equal to, similar to impedance, y equal to z plus or minus jb. Z plus or minus jb, where z equal to y cos phi that is x component of admittance its unit is also Siemens and v equal to y sin phi is known as Susceptance denoted by B. Okay, its unit is also Siemens. Unit is Siemens. Now, here the G is nothing but X component of the admittance and it is known as conductance. It is known as conductance. It is known as conductance and B is known as susceptance and it is nothing but the Y component of admittance. Y component of admittance. So this is X component, this is Y component. Now conductance C unit. Siemens denoted by S and the positive sign plus B capacitive circuit that means susceptance is positive for the capacitive circuit and negative for inductive circuit Now let us have the admittance, impedance and admittance triangle. Impedance and admittance triangle. Now consider first the inductive side. inductive circuit for the inductive circuit this is R this is XL and this is Z impedance triangle and say for inductive circuit the susceptance is negative so here it is Z equal to R plus Z XL and uh, the susceptance is negative and therefore it will be like this this is z the x component and y component is negative the x component is the conductance and y component is susceptance and it is negative in this case this angle is far so this is admittance triangle y equal to z minus jp 
Now consider the second one. Capacitive circuit. Now for the capacitive circuit, impedance that is negative. This is X in, this is R, and this is Z, and that is phi. So this is impedance triangle for capacitive circuit. So Z equal to R minus J X. Now the susceptance for the capacitive circuit is positive. Therefore we can draw it like this. So this is your C, this is B, and this is Y. So this is the admittance triangle. Y equal to C plus J P. Now we, let us have a parallel circuit. C equal to Z1 plus C2 plus Z3 and the susceptance B equal to minus ZB1 plus ZB2 plus so minus ZB3 so take the outside Z sign minus B1 plus B2 minus B3. Therefore, Y equal to Z plus ZB equal to Z plus. Well, this is B. Okay. It may be plus minus, whatever it may be. That depends on the values of this. Values of the reactances or the susceptances. Values of susceptances. It may be either plus or minus. Okay, so in this way we have learned the single phase AC parallel circuit. In parallel circuit, the current gets added and voltage across each branch remains same. And therefore, the current gets added and the resultant impedance equal to Z equal to Z1 Z2 upon Z1 plus Z2. Or we can find out individual branch current and then take the addition of this. The addition of current is always phasor addition or phasor sum. Now then later on we have learned the division of current in parallel circuit. When the total current is known to you, we can find out the individual branch current. Then later on we have studied the admittance. What is the admittance? It is the reciprocal of impedance. And denoted by Y, its unit is Siemens denoted by S. So thus Y equal to 1 upon Z. Therefore, from this situation, we can write the in parallel circuit admittances get added. So, this can be represented as y equal to g plus minus jb, where g is the known as conductance, its unit is also Siemens, and it is a x component, x component of the admittance, whereas b is also b is known as susceptance, and its unit is Siemens denoted by s, and uh, uh, the Admittance is positive for the capacity circuit, sorry, the susceptance is positive for the capacity circuit and susceptance B is negative for inductive circuit. 
which is shown here. Now, thereafter, we have learned the impedance and admittance kind of see the comparison. So, after all, the, we, in parallel circuit, the, each individual conductances gets added, similarly the susceptances get added, and if the, uh, the total is y equal to g plus or minus jb, the, if the capacitive susceptances are more, then it is a positive sign, if the inductive susceptance is more, then it is a negative sign. In this way, we have finished the single phase AC parallel circuit, we will stop here.